Hey guys, Blue's Heart 5-9. Uh, remember I was talking about the body shop on how you get your cars done and you hold the warranty papers and see what they do for your car? But I'm going to show you guys. Here's what I'm getting at. Okay, this is a 1999 Cadillac Concourse DeVille. It has 60,000 miles. The car is flawless. Well, you think it's flawless, but it's actually not. Okay? Did an excellent job painting. This car had a whole front clip redone. Okay? I got hit in the front end on this thing back in 2002. I bought the car two years old. I paid 17 grand for it. Book value was 27 at the time. So I got it for pretty much 30% off. All right. Anyway, I'm going to explain something to you guys about uh, when you buy a car. Or if you get work done by body shops. First of all, when they paint your car, they should blend fenders. Okay? Okay, this car is painted. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do a walk around this car real quick. All right? Looks nice, don't it, though? All right? Looks really good. See that? The car is actually looks good. The lights. I use McGuire's. Uh, I use a, uh, McGuire's products. Wax. You know, stuff like that. And that's the finish you get should be no swirls no see lighting makes a difference all right see that the finish okay there you go all right do a walk around for you guys all right but to ever find out if your car has been an accident first want to do is you want to check your seams see the seams along the hood all right if your car is put together right the seam is right here the, the lines that run in your hoods Okay, your fenders, hoods line up, and you want to check your door panels. Panels, the lines should be equal. Usually cars are made with a quarter inch gap and door panels. All right, see the panels right in the center there? Right there, right there. Okay, so they put the car together pretty good. But I want to show you guys something. Here's where, here's where you can find out if they blend up the paint or not. Okay, I'm going to show you something. Now you got to look very close. The car is immaculate. It looks good, right? And now look. See? Watch the color. I don't know if you can see that. We probably can't, but... Okay, see the color change? <clears throat> it goes from black to brown. You can't see it, though, but... All right, here you go. Here's a good example. All right, see it? Okay, watch the color. Watch when I switch. See, it gets black. I go to the fender, it turns brown. So take a flashlight, whatever they paint your car, they should blend that through. See, the car is black and that... The, the original color is right there, where the light's at, right there. See that? It's more black. Now it's more brown. And the best time to find flaws in the car is in the early mornings when the sun first comes up. Park your car in the sunlight. Then you'll really see the difference in paint. And that's how you identify if it's been matched right. Do you guys see that? I don't know if you can see that, but I can. The fender on the front of the car, right there, is actually more of a brown deep finish and the rest was black. Okay, that's why I was getting so pissed off about the body shops. Because, you know, they, and then when you do get your car painted, they should blend the fender, sand the door slightly to match the, the new paint they put on. All right, Blue's Heart 5-9. Get your paperwork from the body shop, okay? And maybe I'll bring this thing out in the sun and show you better next time. But, yeah, she looks good for a 99. But there's flaws. You don't see it, but I do. Alright, peace out. Blues are 5-9.